Okay, today what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at Tech Tool Pro 5. Uh, Tech Tool Pro 5 is a uh, Mac a utility for the Macintosh. It is a utility that lets you check and repair uh, problems on your Mac. Even comes with a bootable DVD so that you can uh, solve problems that you can't solve any other way. Uh, so you can boot off the DVD and then do uh, repairs to your computer. Uh, Tech Tool's been around lo a long time. Uh, it's a pretty usable tool for most of us. Uh, it's one of the tools that most Macintosh technicians keep in their arsenal of uh, ready-to-use tools simply because it works and it works well. Uh, there are some tools out there that are uh, better in certain areas, but Tech Tool is one of those that's that's real consistent, uh, has a really nice interface, and is user friendly. So we'll go ahead and we'll start up Tech Tool and uh, bring it up. Now it automatically checks for updates, and here I'm not going to do the update. I'm just going to cancel on that. And you'll notice several things about Tech Tool when it first comes up. Uh, now there's two ways of running Tech Tool, as I said I said before. Uh, you can run it off the hard drive, which is what I'm doing right now. Uh, certain things are fixable uh, when running it off the hard, hard drive, and then there's some things that cannot be fixed when it's on the hard drive. Uh, so you may have to run certain items uh, from the DVD uh, by booting off the DVD and running those. So realize that you've got two possible diagnostics methods and testing methods. But a lot of times I will run tests within Tech Tool. Uh, off the hard drive just to find out if there's a problem uh, so that I can go ahead and fix it. Now one piece of advice that I always give to people whenever you're using repair utilities or uh, any kind of, of uh, computer diagnostics utility, uh, you want to be careful. Uh, if you've already got problems with your computer, don't install a utility right onto the computer because if you've got troubles with the hard drive already, all you're going to do is make things worse. So that's one piece of advice from somebody that's uh, seen a few problems occur over the years. Uh, so anyway, right now we're running it off the hard drive. I'm just going to show you an overview of the features and uh, you know what, what's in the program. And then uh, in later videos, I will actually go in-depth on actually running through a few of these tests. Um, right now, uh, you'll notice that on the interface, you have an option for tests. Uh, then you also have an option for tools and then one for reports. Uh, the nice thing is that, like I say, it breaks it down into groups. Tests uh, has testing items, uh, tools obviously repair type items, and then of course, of course reports to see uh, what reports you worked on and uh, what, what the result was. So it does keep an archive of it on your hard drive. Now, one thing up front you'll notice about Tech Tool is that in this case it tells me about, uh, for example, my USB uh, that I have on in my FireWire as far as the speeds that they're operating at. It also tells me what the network uh, uh, speed currently is. tells me about the type of processor I've got. It even tells me down here below, besides it's telling me that I've got a 2.8 gigahertz processor, that there are two of them. In this case, it's a dual, dual core Intel processor, so it knows about that. Uh, it tells me about the cache on the system. So you ha already have some information me that's meaningful right here to the technician. Sometimes the end user doesn't see it quite so meaningful. Also, uh, it will also give you information about uh, the model, even tells you when the thing was built. This is a feature that's been in their uh, Micromats product uh, since back when Mac EKG was made many, many years ago. And uh, most of us that have used uh, their products actually like them because they do have a really nice, nice user interface. And uh, I think they put as much time into the interface as they do as into the tool itself. Okay, test selections. I can t check the computer. Uh, there's a suite of tests that it, it goes through, and it's rather large. Uh, you also, and uh, whenever you tell, check computer, it's going to go through every one of the tests that are in this list, by the way. Um, memory test t checks your memory. Uh, you can select how long a, a test you want. Surface scan, you can check over the hard drive itself. Smart test, uh, now uh, newer hard drives have a, th a feature called smart, which is basically a diagnostic to catch problems before they occur. You can check the volume structures. You can also check the video memory. 
and you can check the file structures on there. Now, uh, some things will be available under uh, as an online item. Other items may not be available uh, as a online item. So you have to be aware of the fact that it, it may or may not be necessarily available uh, as an item uh, based upon whether you're booting off the DVD or uh, the online operation. Okay, tools. We have eDrive. This is a really great tool. It basically uh, on uh, on the fly, we'll build you a partition uh, where you can actually boot off of the of the uh, hard drive uh, to do repairs. This beats having to use the DVD to boot because it does take a little while to boot off the DVD. So it's kind of neat that it will do this. Uh, makes it really really great uh, as far as doing that. Uh, volume rebuild allows you to reconstruct the volume disk directory. Uh, and it will repair volume corruption. File optimization uh, allows you to have files to where they are readily available for you and uh, quickly will, uh, you know, they'll open up quicker and things like that. Volume consolidates your sp free space. Uh, that way if you uh, are like I am and I, I work with video a whole lot, uh, when I'm working with large video files, uh, this file volume optimization, I always do this beforehand uh, simply because it makes life easier. Data recovery, uh, sometimes you can recover some of your data files and it even looks in the trash, you know, you can have it even look at the trash and it will look for the uh, types of files that, are, that uh, you may have dropped in there. Wipe data, there may be times that you want to secure information uh, from prying eyes or maybe you're getting ready to get rid of a hard drive. Uh, you might want to get rid of certain private information using this wipe data option. Volume journaling turns on or off the uh, volume, uh, the journaling capability under, on the HFS plus volumes. Disk permissions, you can turn those, you can change those uh, with this option. Uh, this is very similar to the disk permissions uh, that you have within uh, uh, disk utility on the Macintosh. Uh, video, you can actually go in there and uh, check the video itself and the same thing with the audio. You can go through here and check the computer over, see what's what's going on and everything. And then of course with the reporting facility it actually tells you uh, like uh, I did a volume uh, file structures checked and uh, I can go through here and I can actually and it says I ran the uh, ran the disk structures uh, test and it ran successfully. So uh, that's the summary of it and of course the nice thing about it is that I can actually clear these out later or I can even print uh, what the uh, tests were. Now when I click on that particular test you'll notice it tells me a little about it. Suspect files, problems with the files and I mean it's it lists every file that there's been a problem with. Uh, that's like I say Tech Tool is very very good in that area. Okay so now I'm going to go back uh, and uh, shut this all down because uh, all I wanted to do is do a brief overview today um, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and close out Tech Tool, and uh, if you uh, have need of, of computer assistance or uh, information, uh, or even just to come by and see what I've got there, uh, if you would come on by my website at krabbymac.com. You can also Google or Bing my site at Krabby's Place. Uh, just look for the item that says "Welcome to Krabby's Place," and I thank you for your time, and you have a great day.